Dearly beloved, loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. How is this place? Is it beautiful? What you see at the back is the city of Jerusalem. It looks beautiful from here. It is a wonderful place. Do you know where I am? I am on the Mount of Olives, on the slopes of the Mount of Olives. In Luke chapter 19, isn't an incident where Jesus looked at Jerusalem and shed tears mentioned so this is that place. From here he saw the city, shed tears and cried. On this mountain where Jesus shed tears, they have built a small beautiful temple. The tower is designed like a teardrop. Jesus looked at the city from here and shed tears. We might think, why must he cry like that because of the disgust of sin found in this city, thinking about the judgment and destruction that is to come. Jesus shed tears and cried. Oh, they haven't repented from their sins. They don't know the way of peace. In spite of the Lord giving so many chances, they haven't known it. Such an agony. And why? In 70 AD, the Roman armies surrounded Jerusalem and brought the city to the ground. They demolished the Jerusalem temple. There was a river of blood throughout Jerusalem. The reason was the punishment for the judgment of sin. Even though it was a city that he formed, even though it was a temple built by God, because they gave place to sin and didn't repent from it, if we sin intentionally, the Lord will pronounce judgment. This city is an example of it. Even if it is you or me, it is like that. So when the Lord lovingly speaks and convicts you, we should live a life that fears Lord God and is away from sin. This is a testimony to it. Are you thinking, okay, what word does the Lord say to me? Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 16, the Lord says, I will make darkness light before them and crooked places straight. He looks at you and says, I will turn the darkness in my children's life to light. He promises, I will straighten crooked paths in your life. Some places might be dark in your family, business, lives of your children or ministry. One side is very bright. On the other side, there is darkness. You don't know what to do in such circumstances. It feels like you are stumbling in the dark. This matter is my problem. We are stumbling in the dark without knowing what to do for this need. My child is like this. My husband or my wife is like this. I don't know what to do. Aren't you thinking like this? Do not worry. The Lord will turn that dark matter into light. He will make crooked things straight. Don't be afraid. Hasn't the Lord promised to bring light into the darkness in your life? You should say, Dear Lord, there is darkness in this part of my life. I'm stumbling. Bring light into it. Straighten the crooked things in the life of my children, husband, business and ministry. Change it, dear Lord. Straighten it. Try praying like so. A change will definitely come. So now will you pray saying, Dear Lord, you have promised I will turn the darkness of my people to light. I will straighten that which is crooked. This son, this daughter is praying. Today let the darkness in their lives disappear and let there be light. Straighten crooked matters and cause them to rejoice. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Amen.